Namaskara, you're watching TV Vikrama National. I am Jessil D'Souza. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon. Welcome to Bharatiya Parampare, a show about India's vibrant heritage. Kashi is also known as Muktik Kshetra in Bharata. In the same way, Pinda Pradhana Karya in Gaya also has its own significance. According to the beliefs, after the death, the rituals performed will attain Mukti physically. But this soul attains Mukti only after Pinda Pradhana is performed. If this ritual is performed in Gaya, the soul attain Mukti, as this land has a story behind it. Let me tell you why the rituals like Shraddha and Pinda Pradhana are considered sacred. Why this Gaya is considered as sacred land? According to Bhagwat Purana, there was a king named Gaya. He was one among the greatest devotees of Lord Vishnu. Once King Gaya was off to the forest for hunt. He saw a deer and aimed the arrow towards it. But unfortunately, the aim to the deer was missed and the arrow hit the Brahmin. The Brahmin cursed the King Gaya and died. According to the curse, King Gaya was transformed as Asura or Rakshasa as Gayasura. Even after transforming as Asura, his divine following of Lord Vishnu continued. After some time, the Gayasura received two boons from Lord Brahma. According to the two boons of Brahma, Gayasura was the purest among all in all three lokas. And one who touches Gayasura will attain Mukti. This made Gayasura become favorite among all the Asuras. All Asuras started to touch Gayasura after making sins which would make them attain Mukti. This gradually made complete imbalance in the Swarga and Naraka and all the Devas were under the trouble. To wipe out this trouble, all the Devatas seeked help from Lord Vishnu to end Gayasura. Lord Vishnu went to Gayasura and asked him to show one of the sacred and holy place to perform Yagna. As Gayasura was one of his greatest devotees and he has also considered to be pure among all, he asked Lord Vishnu to perform Yagna on him also. When Lord Vishnu placed the stone on Gayasura, the stone started shaking due to Gayasura's respiration. Lord Vishnu appeared on the stone which ended Gayasura. Before his last breath, Gayasura asked Lord Vishnu to place his leg on stone and all the devatas to reside on the feet of Lord. As Gayasura was a greatest devotee of Lord Vishnu, he asked boon from him. According to the boon, from now on, whoever performs Pinda Pradhana or Pitrakarya will attain ultimate mukti. Also, the place where his head laid will be hereby called as Gayashira. And one who performs Pitru Pinda Pradhana Karya here will be satisfied by Pitru with Mukti. Lord Vishnu agrees and from there on whoever performs Mukti Karya on Vishnu Pada of Gaya will attain Mukti for Pitru. According to Sanatana Dharma, Gaya has a sacred prominence for such rituals from ancient times. And this is the story behind the sacredness of Gaya. This was today's special. I will come up with more interesting topic in the next episode. Namaskara. TV Vikrama National, Bharat Bhagya Vidata. Subscribe TV Vikrama National and don't forget to click bell icon button and select all notifications.